Hello and welcome to tutorial number 39 in the Community Builder 2.0 series. Uh, the Joomla project recently released Joomla 2.5.28, which is the last basically Joomla release in the 2.5 series. Uh, this is basically a call to action as with the end of this month, Joomla 2.5 is no longer supported in terms of new releases and so on. So people should start planning their upgrade to Joomla 3.3. Uh, based on this, we've this tutorial and this video tutorial and the tutorial I'm showing you right now on Joomlapolis will help you uh, migrate, upgrade your Joomla 2.5 site to Joomla 3.3. The uh, tutorial is focused on uh, the Community Builder extension, but it does give you the planning that you need to do and the upgrade steps, and it'll tell you what you need to look for and uh, make sure you have in the process to be able to finish this. So. One of the first things you really have to do is go through your Joomla 2.5 extensions and mark which is compatible with 3.3 and which isn't. Those that are not compatible should be upgraded if possible. If, uh, if, a, if, an, if an extension works on Joomla 2.5, most likely it'll work on 3.3. However, you shouldn't really uh, take that for granted. You should do your research, visit the website of the developer. Some extensions might have different versions for th Joomla 3, so you need to have those versions uh, at hand uh, in order to be able to upgrade the extension after your migration has uh, finished. So there are some pre there's some planning steps you have to do before you actually go through the migration steps, and there are some there are some post process steps that you need to do to fine tune uh, anything that's needed. Now, one of the major aspects is probably your template. Your template uh, will probably be broken in a couple of places, so you should actually visit your template provider, see if they have a Joomla 3.3 compatible template you could use and this way things should be easier. If not, you should find a Joomla 3.3 template and uh, use that instead after your migration. Now, in this specific example, uh, we're basically, I'm going to be showing you a 2.5 website which basically uses, you know, some default content. And we have the Community Builder installed. You see this Community Builder 2.0. We have some user lists here, basically three users, the admin, Susan, and Tom, okay? And we're gonna be migrating this website to 3.3. Look at the back end. We have 2.5, uh, 2.5.28 installed, and that's why we're seeing this message here. Uh, if you're not seeing this message on your 2.5 site, it means that you need to upgrade to 2.5.28. And if, again, if you're not seeing this message, you'll probably see, instead of this green uh, check mark here, uh, you'll see that there's a new version to be installed, 2.5.28, and you would have to click here and update it. Uh, it would be nice to have this, uh, this thing here also green, so you shouldn't have any extensions that are installed that you know that need updating. If you do have such extensions, go ahead and update them. This is actually a good time to do some cleanup. If you have any old extensions that you haven't used, delete them. Carrying on an old extension is a security risk, to say the least. I mean, keeping old code on your website uh, that's not updated and not maintained is ask for trouble. Okay, so you've gone through your cleanup phase, you've identified uh, the template you want to use. Basically, we're using right here uh, the default templates. Uh, basically, we're using for the site the Bees 20, and the default for the back end is Blue Stork. 
So instead of BS20, we're going to be using one of the default templates that Joomla 3 has, the, the Protostar template, which we'll see that once we have done the migration. Uh, that's about it. I mean, so we've identified, we've done our planning. We know that Community Builder 2.0 will work just as well on uh, Joomla 2.5 as it will in on 3.3. Uh, so there's nothing to keep in to keep at hand there. There are some post post uh, progress steps, post process steps that uh, basically involve the Community Builder login module, which I'll show you. Uh, but that's these are minor minor uh, configuration aspects. They're also outlined in the tutorial. All the URLs of the tutorial and any uh, additional resources will be given in the comments section of the video. So you don't need to take notes here. Okay. So we're ready to continue. But, but the first thing we really need to do is we shouldn't really try this on our live website. We should actually clone the website into a test environment and go through the process as many times as we need on this test environment. And when we actually are satisfied with the process and have taken notes and you know, and everything, then we go and apply this on the live website, making sure we've taken a backup first. Okay, nobody will take a backup for you. You have to take the backup and make sure you can restore to that backup if something goes wrong. Now this is uh, not a difficult process, but you really have to take it a step by step. These are this is a live website. It's you're not really playing games here, even though it's easy. So what we're going to do now is go to components, the Joomla update menu here, and we'll see that we have the latest 2.5 series installed, 2.5.28. In order for the upgrader to pick up. The 3.3 series, we have to go to the options button here and change the update server setting from long-term support to short-term support. Now, this is basically old terminology. Uh, it's really wrong, but that's the way it is right now. I mean, 3.3 was considered short-term and 2.5 was considered long-term. At this point, 3.3 will probably be with us for at least two to four years from today. So save and close, and if everything went correctly, we should see the new message to update to 3.3.6. If something happens and you don't get this screen, what you need to do is go to Extensions, Extension Manager, the Update tab here, and Purge the Cache. Okay? And then when you go back to Joomla Update, you should see this uh, upgrade proposal. Okay, well, if we're ready now, we click on the install the upgrade button. The Joomla system will download the patch needed and go to start the process. We see the panel here, the progress panel. If everything goes as planned, the panel will finish and we should get a success message uh, on our screen. There we go, we say Joomla version update status, and we're back at 3.3.6. Okay, let's purge the cache the way it asks us. Go to our system control panel, just take a look. Seems okay. And let's actually uh, go and take a look at our templates because that's one of the first problems we're gonna face. We see that the previous uh, Blue Stork administrator template from the 2.5 world is no longer the default admin template. And in its place, the 3.3 ISIS default template has been tagged as default. We still have the BS2 front end template uh, for Joomla configured. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I'm, I'm just keeping this the way it is here and doing new just to see what, there we go. So we see we have the breadcrumb is kind of messed up here, the paths, but this is the old template we're talking about. 
Everything else doesn't look that bad. <laughs> okay, the user, let's just see what this looks like. That doesn't look that bad either. Okay, but we decided basically we're not going to use this template. We could probably tweak it and maybe need to make changes to it. But we decided we're going to be using the uh, default protostar template here. So let's just select this. Okay, and let's go now to the front end and go to home. There we go. So this is what it looks like. We see our our home page menu here. I mean, we'll fix this later. Let's go to the community builder login. See, this is this breaks the uh, the position here. So what we need to do basically is go to our extensions module manager. Again, these steps are outlined in the tutorial on Joomlapolis, so you can just go and read that. Edit the CB login and basically go to the advanced options and instead of the alternative layout default, we select Bootstrap because now we're on Joomla 3 and Joomla 3 has Bootstrap. And let's just save this and refresh. There we go. Our registration form looks okay. okay. We might want to play with these here. I mean, this is template related. So your template basically uh, basically has instructions on how to handle these uh, the main menu. So in this case, let me just take a look at uh, our main menu, extensions, module manager. And we have a main menu here that's in position 7. Uh, the correct position for the main menu on the Protostar template is position one. So we want to look at here, Protostar position one is the navigation. Okay, and let's just save that. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Well, it's moved to a different position, but it's still not, we still need to play a little with it the configuration the next thing we need to do basically is go to the advanced area and this is okay here where it says module class suffix we need to put nav dash pills this is the name of the uh the class that's installed and hopefully if we refresh this now nope it didn't do something right let me just pause for a second yeah, it was nav that nav dash pills. I just had a typo here. So if I save this and go to the front end here and refresh here, we will see the new area here. I mean, that's how it looks like now. So now we just have to go and test, make sure everything uh, seems in order, uh, fine tune our new template if needed, the way I did in this case. And that's it. You can then just go through the same process on your live website. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped and I hope it really uh, inspires you to migrate your Joomla 2.5 site to Joomla 3.3. As Joomla 3.3 has many more features, it's totally responsive. It'll work fantastic on uh, a mobile device or a tablet or your desktop. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.